back to my channel. So today I'm going to be demonstrating and reviewing the O Cedar Mop original and then the new Cedar Mop that separates the dirty water from the clean water. Let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to voice over so that way you guys I'm talking as I'm demonstrating. So here is the original mop head base and to the left is the new base. The new mop head is also smaller compared to the older version. Both buckets are the same size, except the new one has a separate water container and there's a notch here to rest your mop if needed. The separate water container is removable to make it easy to fill with water and cleaning solution. Um, you will see there is a red lever here. When this is pulled up, it will let your clean water continuously come out as you're mopping and then you just put the water container back in the bucket when you're ready to mop. The separate water container does fit in my sink, so that is very convenient. Here is where you pour your cleaning solution and fill with hot water. I personally like to have the lever pulled up as I'm filling up the container with water and cleaning solution so that it can get as full as possible. Just be careful not to spill it as you are carrying it over to place into the bucket. Since your mop head is dry, it will initially absorb a lot of water, which is why I like that side full of water before getting started like you saw previously. I also noticed that this newer version has a smaller ringer due to the smaller base and mop head. I really wish these o cedar buckets had wheels, but instead I grab the handle and slide it or I place my mop head in the ringer area and then push and slide. I personally like to get my floor real wet, then wring the mop head and go back over the wet floor with an extra rung mop head to get the excess water. I also want to point out that the triangle shape of the base makes it easy to clean the corners of your home. So here I want to demo using this little notch to place my mop in just in case I need to walk away for a minute. Once I am done mopping an area, I actually like to wring out the mop before placing it in the clean water container again, just because I personally feel like it wrings out some of the dirty water before I actually place it in the clean water container. I have noticed that with having the separate clean water container, the water does stay warmer longer instead of having it open to air with the original O Cedar bucket. In the past, I've actually had clean water left over to pour out and it came out pretty clear, especially compared to the dirty water bucket. So yes, separating the waters does work. So in conclusion, I'm going to return the original O Cedar mop even though the mop head is bigger on it, I like the fact that the dirty water gets separated in that big container underneath and that the clean water stays in the blue container, which also stays warmer longer because it has a seal to it. So I feel like the water stays warm. So really the only cons about the newer version of the Cedar mop is that the mop head is smaller and you might need to refill your blue container with the clean water maybe once or twice throughout you cleaning your house. However, I would go that extra step just to know that I'm leaving all the dirty water in a dirty bucket versus putting my mop in dirty water, bringing it out, rinsing it out. Um, I rather put my dirty mop into clean water, rinse it out and whatever rinses go in, into the dirty water bucket. So, Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so they get notified every time I post a new video. Bye.